restoration also happens when people connect with God. The story in 2 Kings, if you read 2 Kings chapter 6, the Bible recorded that if from verse 4 to 7, the Bible recorded that the prophet, sons of prophet, said that look, we want a change. We want to reposition it. We want a revival. We, we, are, we are tired of this. We want to we want a revolution that will bring a desired change. And then they went to the prophets. They submitted to the system. They submitted to authority. They brought God into their matter. They turned to God and said, Sir, this is our need. And they said, Okay, go ahead. They got divine approval. But they said, No, it's not enough. We want divine presence. So restoration happens when there's divine approval and there's a divine presence. So those sons of the prophet, they went. And when they were cutting the tree, the Bible said the ass fell and the man shouted, Ah, the ass was borrowed. But they were able to get it because there was divine approval and divine presence. Sir, every time you want to do anything, get divine approval and ensure there's divine presence. That's why the Bible says clearly to us, and I would like you to take time to read it. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, 17 to 19, David initially did not get approval and divine presence of God, trying to bring the ark of God into Jerusalem. And something bad happened. Then again, when searching, say God, he now got the approval of God and he was told how to do it. And he was able to bring the ark. The Bible said there was joy. There was, the ark was restored to his place. There was great joy in the city because there was divine approval and there was divine presence. The Lord bless you. And I pray for you that you will connect and be restored totally to God's purpose for your life. In Jesus' name. Thank you.